Hello YouTube, so I'm back for our 24th Unity tutorial and in this tutorial, like I said last time, I thought we could make it so we can now unlock our weapons and make it so some weapons aren't unlockable and some, well, some weapons can't be used and some can. So, um, I did some searching because I thought it would be cool to have a sound, so we've unlocked it, we want a sound so to alert the user. And I did some searching, if anyone's got an Xbox and has ever played Crackdown, it's um, an Xbox only game, but on that you have these orb s s sphere things what you can collect, and when you collect them, um, um, it plays this sound. And I thought that'd be cool just to add in as a little extra. So to download it, I'll put this in the description if you want it. You can also go and get another one. Go to the update one at the bottom, right click clip, and save link as. We've already stuck that in our game to save time. So I've renamed it to item collect, as you can see it's still the same thing. So what I'm going to do is untick the 3D sound like we do usually so we can definitely hear it. Click apply. So that's that one done. And then what we're going to do is going back to our prefabs folder. So we've got the Hadouken prefab here. I'm going to drag it out. And so it's here. And what I'm going to do is delete this weapons peg because it's in the exact same spot and we don't need that one anymore. So we've got this one. Firstly, I'm going to turn the Hadouken into a trigger. So then we can attach, so we can use the same code as the coin to be able to collect it and then it disappears. So keeping everything on it, the item bounce and everything. But what I'm going to do is rename this Hadouken to Hadouken Collect. Okay, just copy that again, go back in. Paste it again, there we go. Because with the code, what we're going to do is like the coin we've put, if the game object, what we collide with, is called coin, then perform the action. So, what we're going to do is if the um, item we hit is called Hadouken, but then enemies who fire Hadoukens will basically unlock the Hadouken for us, which isn't good. So, what we're going to do is call it Hadouken Collect, so we know the difference between the enemy's Hadouken and Hadouken for collecting. So that'd be good. So once that's done, we're going to drag that back into Hadouken Prefab. And as you can see, it should update every single other one, like it has. Which is all good. So what I'm also going to do is click the Hadouken. Yeah, we've already made it a trigger. All good. So now what I'm going to do is go to our Scripts folder and find our Money folder here. And I'm going to drag Collection from the Money into the Items folder. So the Item Bounce and the collection of the different items, like... Um, are in the same place. Um, before we carry on, I've got the error which I wanted to fix last time. So if you see this error, assets, standard character controllers, third person controller, um, bitwise operation, and then a line. Just double click it, and it'll open up a script. And now, if you look, click, click it, and look here. Here at the bottom, it'll say line 193, character 54. So if we go to line 193. around here. As you can see here, this sign here means OR, except it needs two signs to mean OR. So the first sign, I don't know what it means if it's like that. So you just put two in and save it. And um, to do that sign, it is not an L or an I. What it is, is you, next to your left tab key, you have a slash and then one of these lines going up. If you hold shift and then press that line, you'll get the line. If you Same as if you don't hold shift, you'll get a slash. So basically that slash, yeah. And if you save that, close it and go back, the error should disappear. There we go, so that's fixed. You won't notice any difference, it just basically, that means or. So basically that was to, if the up or W key is pressed, then move. So that's for the third person, but we're, we've already made our own, so that just stops that error approaching. Yeah. So once we've done that, open up collection. Here we are. So we've got the basic code for the coin collection, which is good. So what we're going to do is copy all this, Control c enter here, Control v for paste, and there we have, we have it. So we want an audio clip, which we do, so we're going to duplicate that, Control d in Notepad++, and we're going to rename this, rename this to... Hadouken, which I can't spell. Well, we're going to call it Item Collect. There we go. And we'll replace this audio clip with the one here. And we don't need the money, so we don't want him gaining money. So basically, if the car, if we collide with a game object called Coin, which we don't want, 
So we'll go back to our Hadouk and collect. Collect that. Well, copy it. Paste it back in. If you can spell it, go you. I can't. So, copy and paste. There we go. So if we collide with Hadouk and collect, trigger, collide with Hadouk and collect, which is that, which we will. Then we want it to play the audio item collect. Yes. We also don't want it to print the money. I don't want it to destroy the game object, which is true. So if we just test that now, we should collect it. It should destroy it and play the sound. Actually, no. Before we play it, go to our character and equip the audio, which we keep, which I always forget to do. So all you do is simply click and drag. We've done this many times before. There we go. Now we play it, and it should work. So we go and collect it. There we go. So now we've just unlocked it. And before we carry on again, um, if your prefabs messed, your Hadoukens messed up like mine and weren't attacked, simply go to the prefab and untick his trigger. That's a simple fix. Now the Hadouken will work. Next time we'll test it. So now that that's done, we need to make it so it actually unlocks the Hadouken. So we're going to go to our player fire script, which is this one. And as you can see, if the weapon number equals two, which is the Hadouken, then fire. However, now we're going to go to here and below this, or below all our variables, we're going to add a new note in for unlocks. And we'll type in var, and we'll call it um, had oaken, which is there, unlocked equals false. If it equals false, then we can't use it. So we'll go here. If weapon number equals two, which it does, if copy this Hadouken unlocked equals equals for t if it equals true which it does then we can fire however if it doesn't it won't do anything which basically means we haven't unlocked it however if we do this like this there is no way we can go from that script to that script so I think we've covered static variables before but if not in some programming languages static means um, it can't change. However, in Java Unity, what we're using, static also means public. So it basically means we can get other scripts to access it. So if we go back to the beginning and type in static, this basically means every script now that accesses that can access it. However, um, yeah, so here in our if statement, because it's now there, we need to type in player fire, which is the name of our script here. So it'll go to the script player fire, which is this, to the variable Hadouk unlocked, which is this, and if it equals true, which it doesn't, then it won't fire. All good. So if we copy this bit here, equals true bit, and go back to collection, and paste it, say at the top here, tabby tab, and one equals for it will equal, and that's it. We've done. So at the beginning, because it equals false, we won't be able to fire it. I don't know if it will play the sound or anything, it shouldn't do, but yeah. And then if we collect it, it will fire perfectly. So let's try it. Uh, there shouldn't be nothing we have to do yet. So, Hadou fire Falcon Punch. Oh good. Hadouken. Nothing. Three. Nothing. There we go. All good. However, if we press look number two, nothing. If we go and collect this... Press number two. That's it. So we've now unlocked it. And just to test that this still works. He's still having a fit, but yeah. Is that one growing? Yep. Yeah. As you can see, the look at in this is very messed up. And the conclusion what I've came to is it's something to do with the models. Because they have rigs or are, have skeletons which we use to animate um, the look at doesn't like it so it won't look at it but I'm still trying to fix that so we will fix that soon so now that's done um, we could add an ammo to it but I think we'll wait for that we'll add like a new weapon which requires ammo so like Hadoukens he can do it unlimited but say if we had like I don't know another one I can't think of I'm, I'm going to research a bit but yeah if you have any um, suggestions for what we should add for our next bullet, stick it in below in the comments. Yeah, because then we can add it next time and then give that an ammo. 
because we don't need four of these so I'm just going to delete three of them like that because we only need four because when we collect well we only need one because when we collect it that's it we've got unlimited so uh, yeah we can either add ammo to this one the Hadouken or to another one but I'm hoping we could add another one because then it'll make a game a bit more better yeah um, ammo is simply just an integer so we do var something equals five and then all it is is an if statement saying if this integer is less than zero then we can't fire so it will basically be added on to the if statement here anyways so thanks for watching please like it and comment with suggestions below and see you later